Hello, I am Sandro Dallas, the chaplain here at Norfolk Hospice, and I would like to welcome you this beautiful morning. It could be Easter morning, as I bring to you, which I hope to be a message of much hope. I'm thinking especially of those who have lost loved ones during 2020. What a difficult year it has been, generally, and how much more for those who have lost their loved ones. So, I just want to say that we are thinking of you, and I am praying for you. This Easter season is very much a season of hope to so many, especially I feel this year of 2021. As I have said, last year has been one of the toughest years for so many of us and so many that I know. And the thought of some normality, seeing family and friends, enjoying time together in the beautiful spring weather, fill our hearts with expectant hope. With this in mind, I started thinking about the reality that after dark comes the light. Think, for example, of the night and then the morning. After sorrow, there is hope. Think of the hope that most of us have of seeing our loved ones again whom we have lost. After death, comes life. Think of winter and the spring season, which speaks so clearly of new life. These thoughts were encouraged by some of my favorite passages in Scripture. In Corinthians 4 it says, it is God who commanded light to shine out of darkness. In Psalm 30, it says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And the last scripture is probably the most powerful scripture that speaks of a story that has been going and lasted for over 20 centuries now. It has been believed and trusted by billions of people on the planet since then and presently, including our Queen here in England, Queen Elizabeth. Against all odds, persecution and many empires trying to destroy this belief, it has stood the test of time. I am of course speaking of the true historic story of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, which we celebrate this coming weekend. And I hope this really brings hope to you. Perhaps the part that speaks most to me is the part where Jesus appears to Mary Magdalene. The book of Mark chapter 16 says, after Jesus rose from the dead early on Sunday morning, the first person who saw him was Mary Magdalene. Jesus chose to appear to Mary, first of all. This is very important because women were despised and rejected by society at that time. However, Jesus honored them, breaking every cultural and gender-based bias existent at that time. If this story had been invented, no one would ever relate it as Jesus choosing to reveal himself to a group of people who were so despised, starting with a few women. Telling a woman to tell his male disciples that he had risen from the dead would have been unthinkable, as they would not have believed them in that culture and time. And according to the historic account, the disciples indeed did not believe them to begin with. However, 
it was true. And that fact has changed billions of lives since then, giving so many the hope that there is life out of death, resurrection out of darkness, hope out of the most hopeless of situations, living faith as we choose to trust and walk with the risen Jesus. I would love this message to reach those who feel hopeless and helpless today. May light shine out of darkness for you. May your weeping turn into joy as you trust the one who loves you. And may the risen Jesus Christ be very close to you today and bring you his powerful message of his love for you, of hope, peace and salvation. This is my prayer and message to you at this Easter time of 2021. Every blessing to you all. Bye-bye.